Hi, I'm Father Kevin Weber from St. Mary Queen of the Universe Parish in Salina, Kansas. And for this episode of Five Minutes for Formation, I'll be talking about the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Reconciliation is a great gift of healing for the church. And the church encourages that everyone would use the sacrament frequently, regularly. Uh, now, technically, all one has to do is use the Sacrament of Reconciliation once a year. Um, before they receive the Eucharist at Easter time. However, whenever one has, knows that they are in mortal sin or have committed a mortal sin, before they avail themselves of the sacrament of the Eucharist, they are encouraged to use the sacrament of reconciliation. Unfortunately, in the church today, many people uh, choose not to avail themselves of the sacrament of reconciliation for various reasons. Um, one of the primary reasons, I think, is for fear. Uh, they just don't like the idea of going to the Sacrament of Reconciliation and talking to another person, a priest, and pouring out their ugliness uh, before another human being. Uh, none of us likes to show the ugly side of ourselves, so we'd rather hold that in and just keep it in the shadows. Well, let me tell you, that's exactly where Satan wants it to be, is in the shadows. As long as it's there, he has access to it and can use it against us and can continue to drag us further and further into the darkness. Um, if there is anybody who recognizes the power of God's grace in the sacraments, uh, it would be Satan. Satan knows the power of God and that the sacraments are an instrument of God's grace that draws us back to Jesus Christ and to God. So he wants to keep us as far away from those as possible. So I believe, and I tell many people when they come to me and say, oh, Father, I'm sorry, but it's been 10 years since my last reconciliation, 15 years since I've been to confession, whatever it might be. They uh, tell me that, and I say, you know, Satan wants to keep people away from the sacrament because he knows how powerful it is. If it weren't powerful, he wouldn't care one whit if you went every day to the sacrament of reconciliation. Because he recognizes how powerful it is, though, he chooses to plant seeds in your mind to tempt you away from availing yourself in the sacrament of reconciliation. So, you come up with all sorts of excuses. Oh, what I did wasn't that bad. Uh, it hasn't been that long since I've been to the sacrament. Oh my gosh, now it's been so long, I'm embarrassed. I don't want to tell the priest. I also don't want to tell the priest all these horrible, terrible things that I've done, or at least I imagine I've done. Um, will he treat me different? Will he look at me different? Will he tell somebody? We come up with all sorts of reasons as to why we don't want to go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation, and it's usually very effective. Very, very many people do not avail themselves of this wonderful sacrament as often as they should for many, many different reasons. And Satan is real pleased about that. So when you are in need of the Sacrament of Reconciliation, when you are pretty certain that you have committed a mortal sin or know that you have, and you're thinking about, I should get to reconciliation, I should go to confession, I need to uh, have penance to uh, amend my life, um, but you start coming up with excuses as to why not to go, try to remember this conversation. Try to remember that indeed, if Satan is working so hard to keep me away from the sacrament, then probably that's the best reason why I should get to it. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Hey everyone, I'm Colleen. And I'm Matea. We're your communications team at the Chancery Office and wanted to thank you for watching our video. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell down below so you can get notified every time we post. Woo!